What's up everybody, my name is Perry the Fridge and today I'm going to show you a method for catching one of the most elusive fish in Sea of Thieves, the Black Lod Wrecker. As you may already know, these fish require a combination of earthworms, a shipwreck, and a storm to catch, making them one of the few fish in the game to have three requirements. Shipwrecks and storms are easy enough to find on their own, but together is a bit trickier. So what do we need to get started? For our strategy, we will need two things. First, you will want a captain's ship. This isn't technically necessary, but it's going to make this method a lot easier as you won't need to dig bait up every time you set off looking for a wreck. Second, you will need a web browser. We are going to be using a storm tracker to guarantee the wrecks we stop at will spawn the fish, so you console players will need to have a tablet or other device handy to check before you get started. So let's get into it. Step one is to use your browser to go to merfolkslullaby.com map and select their weather forecasting interface. This will show you the current and future locations of the mobile storm in Sea of Thieves, which will be identical on every server. You can see a visual representation of the path on the map, as well as a list of islands the storm will pass by on the left. This will tell you where you need to sail looking for shipwrecks and what outposts are ideal to spawn at in order to check the storm's path the fastest. In the example I'll show you in this video, the storm is going from Skull Keep, heading northwest all the way to Sailor's Bounty, and then south down towards Wanderer's Refuge. So Daggertooth Outpost and Sanctuary Outpost are the ones we're looking for. Once you know what outposts you want, it's time to log into Adventure Mode. Spawn in on your captaincy boat and check to see if you are at one of the desired outposts. If yes, great, move on to the next step. If not, hop servers until you spawn at an outpost close enough to the storm path. If you have crewmates who are going to join you, it's a good idea to split up and log in separately as this will allow you to look for shipwrecks on multiple servers at the same time, and if somebody finds one, they can invite the team. Once you've landed on an outpost that you want, run to the shipwreck captaincy shop and buy the bait option she sells. This will load the bottom barrel on your ship with 10 of each bait type, including 10 earthworms that we are going to need. After that, set sail along the storm's path and start looking for wrecks. Shipwrecks are indicated by a mass of birds flying in the sky above the water. However, be careful not to confuse a shipwreck bird flock with a barrel's bird flock. A shipwreck birds will be a larger group. Here is an example showing the difference. Shipwreck bird flocks are visible from around four squares away at maximum render distance settings, so you should keep that in mind as you travel along the storm's path. You won't need to sail the entire length to know if the server you're on is a winner. If there are no shipwrecks in sight, log out of the server you are on and repeat these steps again. You should be able to fully check two or three servers before you will need to reevaluate the storm's path and select new starting points. Once you see a shipwreck near the storm's path, sail to it and check the map to ensure that the storm will pass over close enough. The storm has approximately a one square radius, so you can look at the line on the storm tracker to estimate whether your wreck is close enough. If your shipwreck seems to be in the storm's path, then great. The only thing you'll need to do is wait for it to be in range. Collect your bait and put your line in the water once the storm is overhead. You will know when your ship is in the storm's radius when you hear the bell on the ship start to ring. This is what it will sound like. Black Cloud Wreckers will be available to catch as long as the bell is ringing. Once the bell stops, the storm will have passed and you can turn in your haul. If you like this guide, please drop a like and you can hit the subscribe button to see my other variety content. You can also follow my social media and Twitch channels, which will be in the video description. Thanks for watching, and happy fishing.